G'day folks, it's Rob here and welcome to our small little backyard farm and aquaponic YouTube channel. Just doing a quick little nip around to grab myself some greens for a salad for dinner. The girls are having leftovers to clean out the fridge but yeah, I feel like a salad so I thought I'd bring you along and just give you a bit of a look at what I'm picking for an average salad meal that we make up and at the end I'll post a bit of a pick of the, um, the final product. So anyway, before I get to picking stuff I need to feed the fish. So I'll just drop a little lid full in. They've already had a couple of these a day. They're getting about 150 to 200 grams of feed a day. So, oh, they don't look very interested this afternoon. So, I'll probably see it in a tick and come up. Geez, that took them a while to get interested. Normally they're hitting it straight away. It might be a little bit too late for them. But anyway, um, the, the system's going okay. You saw a clip on that. I posted one yesterday. To YouTube or a couple of days ago by the time you see this probably. Uh, as for what I'm picking for my meal, well I've already picked some kangkong from around the corner and I have it down there in a bowl. Next thing I want to grab I think is some um, spinach, some of this Brazilian spinach. So I'm doing this with um, just one set of hands folks so I won't grab too much of this. Actually I might grab some of this from around the back. I'll take you for a wander around there as well. We have another little plot right over in the back corner here and it's getting a little bit leggy so um i think that branch will do me for tonight that's a decent bit of um spinach and then some of this uh mushroom herb as well i might just have to put the camera down for this one so with these ones here we generally we don't need every leaf on here sometimes they get a little bit um a little bit fed on by bugs and we tend to discard them but this piece here looks all good so actually this side of the system they don't look as um grasshopper affected so probably all those leaves will end up in the salad uh the next plant i might uh, pinch some leaves off is this owen knock i might go for this one over here though that other one's just putting on some nice growth i've been taking um bringing down the salt level in the system for you folks who have been following uh, we increased the salt level for the crook fish and I've noticed that since we've been removing the salt from the system the new growth is looking a little bit greener so I'm hoping that's a reaction to um, less salt in there so I think I'll only grab one branch of this we'll probably oh yeah we'll take this one down here so that's a fairly decent bit might take out this one here actually because it's shading out my garlic chives so that opens that one up a little bit more um so that's from here what else we might go for a wander down here and i'll grab a big stalk of the egyptian spinach so the egyptian spinach that i want to harvest is from this stand here these guys here are all volunteers i actually got some um, egyptian walking onions from nita farmer okay nita um, just down in there and they're supposed to be all along the front of this bed and these blooming volunteers have um, taken off to the point where they're shading them right out. So when I'm harvesting them, what I'm doing, even though I'm not eating the whole branch, is I'm taking off a whole branch like this section here and then just bringing down the scraps and composting them because there is seriously a lot more than I can eat. I think what I'll take is just this branch tonight. Actually, don't even need to cut it. It just snaps off. So... There's a good number of leaves on there. Actually, I might take off this little bit too. Sweet. So before I go out the front and get some beans, we might harvest some dessert before dinner. This is just a small second flush of mulberries we've had on this little tree. Um, not a huge one, not a huge flush, but it <laughs> definitely fed the um, nieces and nephews the other day. They came around to help their father. Just over here, we've got a pile of mulch and some small branches from a tree that stood in the neighbor's yard there right on the fence line actually and my brother-in-law came around with the kids they're the ones that feasted on my berries i don't mind though i don't mind sharing but anyway we've pretty much all uh, mulched all that up and they've taken a whole heap home as firewood but just out the front here i have my purple snake bean plant so I'll definitely be grabbing a couple of them I think I'll have my dessert first though. Oh, so sweet. Uh, this one up the top here is looking a bit too big, so I might just let him go. 
and we'll save seeds from him, but this fellow around the back is right to come off. Oh, some of these pods are ready. One's broken off. Where is it? There it is. So we've got some seeds already set. We have had a little bit of grasshopper damage on them. I noticed them on the pods the other day. Got some uh, purple snake bean seeds that I can save and put aside for um, the next lot. Sweet. Just to show you while we're out here, this rosella bush, or bushes I should say, are absolutely loaded with fruit. We have lost uh, the odd one or two to um, grasshoppers, I think, just having a bit of a munch. But these guys here are large enough to come off this week, so I might um, nip them off and post a couple of pictures around the place online when we're done. One more thing I definitely need because you can't have a salad with feta without sweet basil. So I reckon I want three lots. And there's a few other bits and pieces in here. There's the, um, the celtus or the Chinese lettuce just over there. Um, they're a little bit bitter. Um, even Gina agreed this afternoon when we were trying the young leaves. They tasted uh, a little bit bitter like my Nan and Pop's iceberg lettuce. Never really tasted quite sweet enough. So, but anyway, I got some basil and I think there's one more green or purple that I'm gonna go pick. So this here is Chinese amaranth. Um, it's a purple variety of amaranth and it's pretty much all just grown for the leaves. This is another one Chris gave me. He's a gentleman who um, gave me the uh, tree collards and also the snake beans that I've just picked and a few other goodies around the patch. So I like to just pick the odd um, purple leaf. I like to let these little um, ones at the top here get a little bit of size to them before I pull them off. So there's another little one over here. And it is good to get all the different colours of the rainbow into your um, diet as well. All these, um, the different pigments uh, that make up these colours have different phytonutrients in them. So I try to get at least some purple with every green we harvest. I think I'll call it quits there. Actually, I told a bit of a fib. I think I want some chilli over the top of my feta with the basil. A couple of nice ones over the back here. These are just our little um, sunshine chilies. Very sweet, very fruity little chili. Love these guys. So there you go, folks. I've made them all nice and pretty in a basket, mainly because I'm gonna be posting a photo to Patreon and Instagram and Facebook a bit later. So quite a substantial salad meal, as you can see, and there aren't any tomatoes. We don't have any growing at the moment. And we're actually not really huge tomato eaters here. Um, the little cherry ones go down a treat and we do like the odd slicing tomato but generally we don't go through a lot here. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of an impromptu wander around the patch just having a look at the sort of salads that we've been picking here. No doubt the girls will probably pinch a few of these greens to put on the side of their plate. I don't think I'll end up with much basil somehow but that's life I suppose. I do hope you're all well and happy and you enjoyed this little bit of a clip and I will catch you folks online. Cheers all! So, we cooked up the silver perch. We certainly did. And what do you think, Bianca? I like it. It's much firmer than I thought. Yep. Which, I don't think the jades were this firm. Yeah, they were a little bit more gelatinous, yeah. weren't they? And and there's a lot less jelly in it when you baked it. I was worried about that. Yep. But, no, the taste is more like an ocean fish, I think. Not as muddy as what the jades get. So it's not as muddy. No, I quite like it. Cool. Yeah. Not a problem. So there you go, folks. Now go away. I'm okay. Gonna eat my fish.